back to the channel. Finally, I'm gonna get to review the 2018 CV-Type R. Let's start first with the looks. Obviously, you see in this video, you see probably this car already in person in other videos. So you can see people, you know, I love the look of the car. Uh, but even though people complain about the fake pants, but it doesn't matter to me. You see the intercooler right there. And obviously, I don't mind none of these things right there because if you want to get this uh, upgrade, open it up, you can do it. That's the thing about Honda, it's all about upgrades. So I don't mind all of that. I love the headlights. I really love the headlights. They're really good, they're really bright at night. The LED, the fog lights, uh, go around. Obviously, you got the Brembo's with the 20, um, 20 inch rims. Uh, which I have a little complaint about it, but I'll leave that for another video. I like this right here. Side vents. Well, this is the rear of the car. I, I just love everything about the car, like pretty much the wind. Sign. This right here. Downforce. I like the the design of the muffler some people like some people don't but i like look just really aggressive um like i said people complain about this bottom line if you want to upgrade in the future you can just upgrade it open this up but i like the look of it the way just the way it is and let's um open it up open the hood The 2.0 K20 with the beauty of this car. Like so far, I have like almost 2,000 miles on it, and the engine just feels strong. Um, not much. I will uh, talk a little more about later about the performance, but so far, I love the, the engine bay. I love the way it looks. Here, right here. This is why everything on this car, people complain about the design, but everything is functional. So you get air through there, and you pull off the brakes, and it comes through here, like that. And it's just amazing. Let's um, open the trunk. Got a, like a lot of space on the trunk. Like it, it, even without folding the seat, this is my gym bag. This is my son's gym bag. And like it's still, like you just a lot of space on it. Um, no spare tire, but they do have, they give you this um, uh, fixed uh, tire kit and that I use and it's, it's really good it works pretty well it comes with no wrench um, to lose the the lock nut but you can get that in the store you know like for 30 bucks or something that's pretty good so so we'll go to the interior Love the steering wheel, love the way it feels. Um, the chief knob, like I love the position it is. Some people like higher, some people lower. I just think it's just perfect the way it sits right there. I love the red, and even though it's fake carbon fiber, but it feels good and it looks pretty good. Uh, for the price that you get this car, can't complain about it. Uh, the seats, they're more comfortable. They're more comfortable than they really looks. You see right here, it holds you down when you like going in the, in the curbs and everything. Like, feel really good. Everybody here that has seen in this car, they all love the way um, the, the seat feels. The feel just feel pretty good, right? So the real seats. The real seats right there. 
you can fit two people, you can fit two of your friends with your cup holders. It's pretty good so far. So, all right, guys, so I'm gonna take the car for a drive and um, talk about the performance and some things I like, some things I don't. So, stay tuned. All right, so driving the 2018 Civic Type R, when you start the car, the car starts on sport mode. That's the, the mode that the car is, will always start in sport, the setup mode. Um, the steering wheel feels like not too hard, not too soft. Uh, it just feels pretty good. The clutch just feels like, it feels really good. It, it feels like pretty much like a state two, state two clutch, where it's not too soft and it's not a little hard like state three. But it just, it just feels really good. Soft but firm. I say is that the car has a lot of power um, it's not the fastest car uh, that you can get for the price but the car is pretty fast uh, just a little bit of turbo lag just a little bit of turbo lag um, but uh, it's, 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 really, it's really fast it's faster it's faster than it looks definitely but it's not the fastest car but I'm pretty I'm pretty content with the power and I right now I'm driving a sport mode. I'm driving a sport mode and I'm telling you, pretty fast. So now I'm driving second gear. Yeah, a little turbo lag and the car just go. The car just go. I just like it. it's pretty good. Um when you put it on plus R, the car just becomes more aggressive. You even hear a little more of engine sound. A more of engine sound that the the car just handled better, but the suspension got really stiff. My, um, I'm gonna put it on plus R now. So you can do it while you drive, but you're gonna put it. You just different stop, stop. So now in plus R, the suspension, everything just change and adjust. Put in plus R. It doesn't have a launch control, but it has the since it's a manual, so. In 3500 RP in the car stop. Yeah. Just go. I even stop talking. <laughs> I feel like I have to pay attention when I'm plus R. Yes, uh, my son is there. Just laugh. Yes, uh, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty fast. I'm gonna tell you if you get this car and you planning like on race someone or. Uh, you have to know how to you're gonna race because the car in first gear if it's not like too hot uh like over 60 70 degrees you won't have a lot of traction on first gear so like i'm gonna do right now i go first gear i'm gonna the car is there fighting to get traction it goes there it goes it goes today's like around 50 degrees in new york and the car holds pretty well, it holds pretty well. But I recommend you, if you're gonna race anybody in this car, do it, do it a second gear, second gear pull, uh, where the car is gonna have no traction problems, and the car will, uh, will have the boost on second gear pretty good. Uh, so you, you can race the car, you have to know how to do it. If not, you will lose, believe me. For a car you think you were supposed to win easily, you might lose. Other than that, um, me stop for a second. The chief knob in my Honda Core that I made or motor, the chief knob feel like the, the K tune chief that I, that I put. It feels a little bit similar. He has no play, it feels really good, firm, but not as hard as the K tune. Uh, obviously, this one has some bushing in it inside, but it feels really good. It's similar to the, to the K tune. Um, uh, shifter. Uh, my favorite mode, like when I go to work, I put on comfort and just feel good. The suspension, everything. When you go in, in R, when you go in plus R, you just feel like you need to 
you get tired with it. Like driving the type R on plus R the whole day, you might gonna get tired. The steering wheel is stiff, and the, the, you're gonna feel the the, the, the bumps and the power hole more. But when you go with sport, um, sport you do feel a little bit, but not as so much. But you put on comfort, you just driving a regular Civic. It's like you're driving a regular Civic uh, with a turbo on because in comfort mode. In comfort mode, it's still pretty fast. It's not like the guy just slow down like nothing. I got, I'm on comfort mode right now. Yeah, a little bit of hesitation, but the car in comfort mode is still go. It's a lot of cars out there that you you could be on comfort mode. I'm telling you. But overall, uh, does it worth the money? The car, yes, 100 percent, it worth the money. Especially the way I, I bought it. Uh, uh, with a sticker price, it's pretty good. The 2020 just come out, and I read it's only a few upgrade of the suspension, and obviously in the front of the, of the car with the with the side bend, they put like some different body kit in it. But I think you, if I'm you, I, I get the 2019 for a better price and pay like 42, 43. I think that's what I'm gonna cost the. Um, the 2020. I'd rather get the 2019 for a better price if I'm you. Um, and that's it, pretty much. Took about a little bit from the things uh, inside the car, infotainment and stuff like that. Okay, let's talk about a little bit of the infotainment in the, of the, in the interior of the car, the Type R. Um, infotainment pretty good. I, I love Apple Play. I just love Apple Play. You just connect it uh, to your phone, your USB, and then the car just go through and then just connect it. Um, right there, you got the Bluetooth. Uh, I mean, I just love that play. I'm not connected right now because um, I'm using the cell phone, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. We we'll go right here. Uh, you got different modes, it's a sport mode obviously. Uh, it's my favorite comfort, right? You know, you gotta go one by one. And then you got plus R that the guy just just go all red and, and crazy. Alright, so here you got different modes right here you know, that you can choose. This is my favorite, it's for the RPM. That it's like now I think when you go over 4,000 uh, 4,000 RPM, let me see, let's try it out now. Oh, no, I just stop because I'm on neutral, but this light out when you go over 4,000 RPMs, right? But you got this one, that's for the turbo, the boost. You can see how it full ups, right? And you got a few others, you got downforce, you got different. Uh, gas miles. Uh, this is the GeForce one. This one, GeForce. Here you can set up your your, your, your lap time, stopwatch, whatever. And I just started music by mistake. It's pretty good, pretty decent for inside music. Feels pretty good. Uh, something I want to show you is the. Um, oh, here I can show you the the oil life. So I got 70%, uh, 1400 miles so far. This is the most important thing I want to show you. Gas miles. Uh, the car will start learning. At the beginning, it was doing like 15, 16, and eventually, uh, right now that's the best I am doing it. Driving normally, driving slow, driving fast sometimes. 18 miles per gallon for a turbo car, four cylinder. I think that's pretty good. Some people, uh, uh, I'm on the group, uh, shout out to Tire Power Society. It's a lot of, a lot of guys with Tire Power there, and some of them get like 24, 26. Even one guy sent a picture for his Tire Power doing like 30 miles a gallon. I was like, nah, I don't believe that. But the picture was there, it was true. It's, I guess it's all depending how you drive it, the, the computer adjusts. Uh, but that's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Let me see. I can connect the 
the car so it should be the apple plate see you connect the car you connect the, the, the phone so enable once he ask you you need to be completely stopped for that to work Pause my long again. We pause that. So here you start going to the Apple Play. You got your Google Maps, or you got your your regular map. Everybody knows Apple Maps sucks. You got the phone messages. You won't text with this. You just we read it for you, or you can just um, tell Siri to text back. All right? Same thing. What's up? Google Maps. You got Pandora. I like this feature pretty much. Pretty good. You got a racing station right here. Uh, what's my name? Uh, shout out to Passmark, rest in peace, man. Uh, it's just crazy. Music still playing while you were drive while you're driving and, and using the map or whatever. So pretty good for the interior. Got the light, got pretty good lights here, interior lights. Uh, obviously you know the parking brake is um it's electrical. That is on to release it, you just press your brake. Press the brake, press it down. To put it, you just lift it up. I love this picture. The brake hole uh, feature, I love, I love that feature, obviously, because um, you need to to use this feature, uh, the brake hole one. You need to uh, have the seatbelt on. You need to have the seatbelt on, and when you press it like this, it says that brake hole is on. What it does is that it won't it won't let the car roll back when you like up in the hill and you're driving the traffic. That's pretty good. This car is so easy to drive that uh, my wife that she never drive a man before. I give her a few lessons. And now she drives the Type R. She, she's keep driving going. it. She keep just going. drives the Type R sometimes. Yeah, I go do this on the mall. I was like, take the Type R, take the car. You take the Honda, and she driving it. In the beginning, I was asking her how many times it went off. She was like two times. And then she was one time that she was not. The car just, it doesn't go off on me anymore. So she controls the clutch because it's pretty light. She can, the shifter, everything. She's driving slowly, but even for somebody that has never driven a manual before, can drive the type R. All right, guys, so I just jumped in the highway uh, to show you uh, the auto red matching feature. Uh, I love like everybody love this feature and I'm gonna explain to you why what you can see it so now I have it on plus R uh, the most aggressive uh, mode of the car I go fifth gear or sixth gear I'm not going at crazy speed I want to show you usually when you go in, 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 um, in a high uh, gear and you down shift most of most most of the manual uh, car, the manual transmission, they you feel this bounce back unless you heel toe. Well, this car has a feature; it does it for, it does it for you. It does it automatically. So now I'm going six gear. You just pay attention to the to the RPM, how automatically goes up and it stay it stays on the in, the, in the exactly RPM. And the car won't bounce. Won't bounce. Of course, you won't see it, but you you won't see the car bounce, bounce. But you will see how the car stays steady with the RPM. So six, five, four, three, two, and you just feel it just does automatically. It just does it. Four, five. Six. I'm gonna do it again. You can see it again. With six gear. Five. Four. Three. The car.
Tyler stays like so stable, it won't bounce back, it won't hurt your neck. This is just amazing. And I think if you get this car, you're gonna love this feature. Also, uh, if you are old fashioned, you say, nah, I do it myself, you can do it yourself. You go to the settings and you go to vehicle and then you just turn it off and you do it yourself. But in my case, I'm a truck driver. Uh, I wanna make my life easier and simple. And doesn't matter how good you think you can do it, you will never do better than the, better than the computer, all right? So this is a manual transmission, and Honda managed their way to put a feature, <coughs> like if the car was automatically, like, this is amazing. So one of the things that people complain uh, more about is the sound of the exhaust. They say, oh, it's not loud enough, or, since it's like triple exhaust, it should have more like aggressive tone. But those people, they don't know nothing about Honda, about Honda history. Why did I say that? Because I want you to leave in the comment section and tell me I'm wrong. Uh, which Honda from factory, uh, since Honda history, right? Uh, which Honda from factory come with a exhaust, like with a loud exhaust? No Honda that I can remember right now come from factory with a loud exhaust. Not even the NSX, not even the NSX. Honda is all about pure engine sound, VTEC sound. Uh, but it's not also, it's not like the car is like a, a Tesla where you can hear anything. It has a, a, a nice sound, but it's not loud. It's not like a Subaru or some of the cars that come with a little loud exhaust. Nah, this doesn't, this doesn't. But I think it's pretty decent. But you want to upgrade, Honda is all about upgrade. So let's take a look at the sound right now. <laughs> 